Ooh. I ain't gonna lie. I'm always in love that soundtrack, dog. I love that soundtrack. It's so dope. All right, guys. Anyway, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Tomorrow's Ramblings. I am somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm your host, Rambles. You can always call me Rick. Um, I, <laughs> it's just a long, long bit. I recently had a kid, um, and so I used to stream a lot on Twitch. Um, but unfortunately, due to taking care of my child and trying to figure out the whole schedule thing, I'm trying to do recorded content. Um, uh, I, it's it's a very, very new experience for me. I'm not that great at it. Um, and I'm not as comfortable with it as I am with live streaming. Mostly because I say stupid stuff and I generally <laughs> don't remember what I've said. And so it gives me time to correct stuff and people can correct me. And I don't know. It's just it's a whole different experience. So... Um, for those of you who are in my community already, you know, let me know how you feel about this content in the comments. Let me kind of know what needs to be fixed and whatnot. I'm kind of trying to do this all in a single take because I, I have very limited time. I only get about maybe an hour or two between feedings for my son. Um, so I am trying my hardest to maybe time this a little bit better. Now, um, the goal for these videos is to just have fun. Um, I will be... For the time being, playing RoboQuest, as it's something that I can continuously play and get better. Um, I was considering starting a new save, um, but I don't think I can. Um, I don't think it's possible for me to try and get a different save going. So, I've kind of just, like, accepted it. <laughs> Elite Menace is at its maximum, regardless of the number of power crystals you've activated. Holy shit. Okay, well, that's going to be fun. Um, we're just going to try... I'm going to do hard, just because. Um, well, you know what? Let, let's for the, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to do standard, just because I've, I've not played. Now, I do have most of this game done. Um, here's my workshop. It's all completed, and I have about um, four of the five, uh, no, four V6, um, power crystals available. Um, that's kind of, so that's kind of where I'm at, is I'm grinding to find power crystals, and I'm trying to get to this last class, which is, you have to find the chromatic cell. Otherwise, I've managed to unlock everything, or actually I'm playing with my boy Recon, um, just because I love having this knife, it is so dope. Um, it's a lot better than playing with Guardian and the Bash, or play, yeah, playing Guardian and Bash, uh, this is just more amazing. Anyway, uh, point being is that I am just going to be doing these recordings. Um, I can't say whether I'm going to be good or not. The goal is to maybe hit 30 minutes per run, and I will consider that a viable video. Um, so we'll see. This We might have a different one. And I mean, like, you know, trying to actually hit that 30 minutes, um, but I will be trying my best. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, this is RoboQuest. It is a roguelite first-person shooter. Um, it's kind of, it's very high intensity, in my opinion, and it's very fast-paced. Um, you can play with one other person. I normally play this game with my best friend, Dravalos. Again, those of you who are in my, who are in my normal Twitch community, you guys know that, of course. Um, but I've been, since my son has been born, I've actually been playing it a lot more myself trying to get better at it and you know discovering the changes that have happened since its full release um it fully released i believe a couple of well, was it the last month or a couple of months not last month yeah it was either last month or a couple of months ago it finally came out with its full release and the game is fantastic for those of you that really like a challenging first person shooter i highly recommend this one um and uh yeah so <laughs> this will be my first video, I guess. First video in a while. I did used to make videos on, on YouTube, and I kind of stopped because, again, I'm not really a big fan. Um, but, yeah. So, thank you guys for everybody who's joining. Um, 
if you uh, aren't part of my Discord, I will have a link in the description. You can go ahead and join. It's kind of where all my randomness goes, and I'll just talk to all of you, of course, if I can. I'm not super active, I'll be, I'll be honest, but I try to at least put in my two cents every now and then and see how everybody is doing. Um, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with this run and um, show you guys the wonderful world of RoboQuest. And of course, these are solo runs, so... You know, we're just gonna have fun doing solo runs. Alright, let's see now. I'm going to just decrease the sound just a little bit. Uh, maybe to about right here. Maybe that'll work. Maybe right there. Yeah, I think I think that'll work a lot better. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our first up, get our starting upgrade. So we have Gluttony. We're gonna go for Special Trick, increasing our dagger damage. Um, we're gonna take the Shovel because we're already doing melee as, as it is, and Perfect Shovel is amazing. So at the start of each level, at the start of each game, you get access to a pistol. Because of my workshop, I get access to a free upgrade, and then we have a choice between Buddy Bot, which no offense. Buddy Bot's kind of trash, but sometimes really good. Um, it's, it's legendary transformation is pretty dope. And then we also have uh, the Shovel. The Shovel also turns into a dope legendary, does a lot of damage, and we're of course going to be doing melee because we're going to be focusing on the dagger. Um, each of these can be, each of the, these base weapons are offered and then in every, at, in every level like rest point, we get a mystery box contains if you have the upgrades in the workshop it's three weapons uh, if you don't have the upgrades in the, sh in the workshop it's three weapons after which it's four and then it might be off of a power cell um, power cells are going to be our upgrade currency they are the vial looking thing to the left of our map the um, little kind of like meter reader game boy thing to the left of the map is our um, i believe it's data packs uh, or data logs, sorry. And then the wrenches are on the top uh, of that, but we don't really need wrenches because our workshop is maxed out. Although I don't know if maybe that might change. Again, I haven't unlocked everything in this game just yet. Anyway, that being said, um, we're gonna be focusing on melee. So a lot of our bit is gonna be better to focus on close range weapons, um, like the shovel and stuff like that. We don't have any melee weapons in here. Um, so honestly, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this dart spitter just because. Um, but yeah. Anyway, everything starts with a door, and you got if you haven't heard this soundtrack before, oh my god, get ready for some headbangers, bro. And here we go. So little flyers here. The point um, of this. Of every robot, every robot has a weak point, and that is either the light or red bit in the center of them to a degree. Um, so you see how they each of them have a red eye. Those are elites, by the way. Um, they added them with the full release of the game. They added in elites, which is awesome because they drop more orbs, more bonuses. Um, just about every enemy drops green orbs, which are which heal. A small amount over time um, and yeah so we're, I know like we're not doing much melee but there you go um, see I can run in that's the big reason why I like this now we don't necessarily have like we have infinite ammo but we are required to reload let's see reduces blink cooldown so blink is our um, blink is our uh, ability that we have with this one. We teleport six meters forward, triggering an explosion, uh, which applies high impact, which impact can stun and generates two combo. Um, you can do uh, um, use our dagger to do melee. If we take if we take down an enemy with a dagger, we get two additional healing cells. Um, and dagger hits against a boss, give us three healing cells. 
Uh, takedowns and dagger hits against bosses generate one combo. When they're fully charged, we do an overslash, which does 200% more damage. Overslash itself does not generate any combo pieces, though. Um, and using it as a chance to hack you with 8%, you would not believe how often that 8% occurs. Flare Gun is actually perfect for what we're doing, and it's because it causes Mark. Um, mark increases damage taken, of course. Um, these, this is explosive, so we've got a small AoE, and we have a chance to do auto crit. So I'm going to take that in place of the Dart Spitter, and this is where it's going to get a little interesting. Because basically, oh, and we have a perk. Um, let's see, hitting enemy with Overslash increases weapons damage by 60%. Meh. Taking damage reduces blink cooldown by two seconds using blink repair called scratch damage. Robo fuel gathering a healing gathering a healing cell generates one robo fuel point for two seconds. Each point increases all damage fire rate reload speed dagger attack speed by one percent. That's not bad. Um, let's go with robo fuel. So we'll take that and then yeah. So now you're gonna see me really start focusing on with the uh, um, with the dagger, and that's mostly because we're gonna be able to uh, six more data logs. So this guy will give us random will give us random bits um, for getting a certain amount of data logs. We need thirty five. So some of these are hard to find. I haven't been able to find all the ones in here. I'm not gonna worry about them in these runs because um, I'm mostly focusing on the action, the fast pacedness. Reduces the duration of blind hacks done. Freeze on yourself by 70%. Uh, Performing a head bonk re repairs all your scratch bar. Um, that is actually really useful because we are doing melee. We're going to be doing, we're going to be jumping a lot around our enemies, which means we're going to be able to fill our health bar pretty quickly. So I'm going to take that. In some, in most of these restrooms, after the first one, there is always a healer bot, which will heal 40% or more, depending on if you have a um, if you have a certain uh, buff card, uh, not card. What is it called? Um, if you have a certain item, um, it'll do that. This is our upgrade guy here. Um, I'm going to upgrade the shovel, even though we're not using it. Trust me, you'll see what I'm doing. Um, and then we're gonna leave the flare gun it is. We don't really care about the flare gun's damage. We just care about the fact that we have a mark or a way to mark everything. Um, and then we're gonna go for the oasis because we're gonna try, we're gonna basically legendary transform um, this. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna be legendary transforming the shovel to. Now, these little flyers, they don't typically drop healing orbs, but because of our dagger, they do. That was actually stupid, but that's okay. Nice. I do love this, man. And the sound, and like, the best thing, the best part about this whole, uh, this whole game is the soundtrack. Like, hands down. Yeah, being able to mark is awesome because, like I said, we do increased damage. But gotta be careful about those. Yeah, look at that elite. That elite that I had a hard time killing with the dart spitter uh, just died instantly. Now those, I gotta like kill those from afar, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, we can double jump. As well as perform a um, a rocket jump. Uh, that is a shredder, um, but I again do not care because um, the shovel is more what I'm aiming for. Now we do have now we can get an S. We can get anywhere from an S rank and below as far as completing each stage. Each stage, each uh, the rank bonuses will allow us to get bonus um, cells. And wrenches, but since my wrenches are since everything is maxed out, I kind of don't need the wrenches, which is one thing I've noticed. Like I've said, the soundtrack is just amazing with this game. Um, it just gets you in the mood. Sorry, I was taking a drink of something real quick. 
All right. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the best at this game, but um, I do love this game. It's dope. I would like I would like it if I could play with more people, but unfortunately, it's only two. It's only a two uh, two person thing. Now we have found. We come to the oasis. The reason why I wanted to come here is because if we come here, first of all, first thing we got to do is upgrade our shovel. Yep. And then we want to upgrade and then we want to come to this guy and he will turn our shovel legendary so now the shovel has it's level three it has brawl like it did before it has crusher 50 percent damage against staggered enemies armored plus eight armor while in hand more head bonk damage uh, minus power cell cost to upgrade because normally for a legendary item it costs five so now it costs three more we have frantic more fire rate on hit auto crit chance auto crit is like the chance for it to um, be a critical strike just on any hit not not hitting us not hitting the uh, red spot or anything like that 100% extra critical damage and we also get rocket jump which just allows us to do a really high jump um, and the rocket explosion does additional damage to enemies around us. Um, let's see, what's in our chest? We have hot dog, a soccer shoe, which is more head bonk damage. So we're going to take that. Like I said, as we're doing melee, being able to jump on our enemies' heads is kind of a given. Um, damage against turrets, microphone... Increases melee and dagger damage. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take that. That's just pure gold for this build right now, because um, we are mostly focusing melee. Again, don't really care about the flare guns damage. We just want the marking ability. I don't think so, pal. We we want to get that um that guy there because um, he drops like a lot of healing cells. first mini boss and all I did was just destroy him with a knife <laughs> now if if I'm moving a little fast I understand that is the point of this game though and look at that I cleared that room no freaking problem um, this way is a little bit hard to tell we're gonna end up going this way And with all the crazy, insane head bonk, da uh, head bonk damage we're doing, um, this actually is a really, really good build already from the start. So we're going to have a fun time. Now, eventually... Whoops! Now I'm just going to... Uh, uh, and destroyed him. Ooh, oh, look! A card! So sometimes uh, enemy cards will drop, which kind of like is just like a, a way to like gather lore and information about your enemies, um, which you can find in the uh, in the workshop, which is that starting area that we were in. Oh, we have a jetpack. Oh yeah, that's right. We have that's one of our starting items. Ooh. So sometimes those infinitely spawned guys don't necessarily uh, get him <laughs> almost didn't get him nice not bad this is a uh, so the R so the orange zones are considered legendary zones and the purple zones are bonus areas. Um, legendary zones are kind of, you're always kind of guaranteed to gain a legendary perk, like in this, in the instance of this guy. Um, when you first start the game, you'll find this guy without his shorts, and then you can give him his shorts later, and he's like really cool with you, and he'll always offer you two legendary items. Baguette grants, grants us an additional jump, and stapler is shooting the lark, consumes ammo for energy, or energy for 1.5 seconds of taking down an enemy. Again, not something we terribly care about because we're playing melee, so I'm not worried about it. But we can take this opportunity to go ahead and level up. 
increases auto critical chance by 1% for each robo fuel point. Um, yeah, over all of these. We can reroll, but this is actually really good. Um, we're going to take Baguette. So we got an additional jump. And then this will just go. There's always, there's always a launcher at the end of each bonus or legendary room. Um, that launches you back to the beginning, but then the timer starts back up. So you have to you have to make sure you're ready. Oh wow! So that so the, so they're protected from the flare even after the shield. Oh, that's something I did not know. So that's good to know. Um, now most of the bonus rooms will either consist of like uh, a room where you jump a lot, a room where you might fight a whole lot of enemies. Or just a trap, a trap ridden hell that's just like designed to take away your health. Uh, increase the weapon damage by 25% against enemies within 7.5 uh, meters, but reduces their damage by 50% against enemies further away than 14. Um, well, that's like perfect. Again, considering we're doing melee. Yeah, within seven. Yeah, let's take magnifying glass. Let's do that. And here, I'll, I'll mess around with the shield so I can kind of show you guys what that looks like. The only reason I mess with the dagger is because Overslash is ridiculous. It offers up a huge chance to just instantly annihilate your enemies. But here, look, I'll show you guys, like, what the... Like, look how much damage I'm doing with the uh, shovel because of us taking magnifying glass. We do so much damage. And of course, because of Brawl, we end up getting, um, we end up getting a lot of, a lot more uh, energy things. That's an elite, and that elite is dead. Oop. Nice. Nice. Um. Volcano Rifle, not needed. Now I can actually hold the fire button if I want. To, uh, to just go ham with the, uh, with the shovel. I don't necessarily have to, uh, click each individual time. And that thing's dead. Dude, uh, well, so there. So lately, my passion with this game has been to either use melee or explosives. Like explosives are amazing in this game. Ooh, I saw that up there, so I'm gonna go for it. But the part, the hard part about melee is that you obviously can't stay still for too long. And while it might seem like this is easy, I'm actually dodging quite a bit. Um, these enemies do slightly track you. I, sh I say slightly because it's not a, they don't always hit you 100%, but if you're going in an obvious pattern, they will hit you. Um, what do we got? Increases weapons damage by 40% against enemies within 7.5 and dagger damage by 15%. Holy crap. Crap, that is really rough. Um, top quality, first 30% ammo, increase of damage by 25%. I don't think top quality works with melee, to be honest. Increases dagger damage by 15% and weapons damage by 25% and reload speed by 20%, but reduces your weapon slot by one. Using blink increases fire rate, reload speed, dagger attack speed. And 40% by 40% movement speed by 18% for six seconds. Hmm. I think we're gonna take close combat because we're we're going full melee on this, so we might as well. Alright, we'll take a drink from the healing robot. Hmm. All crouched. No. Increases all damage by half of your bonus movement speed. Oh man, I wish I had taken that other one. That increases my movement speed by 18%. That would have been freaking amazing. All right, I'll take Viking Helmet. No, no. Increases melee and dagger damage by, uh, by 30% against enemies with more than 90% health remaining. 
That's not bad at all, considering our abilities. So I'm going to take that. Let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. Upgrade shovel. Thank you. Um, like I said, legend. Uh, this this uh, thing now. The one thing I hate about this is you have to get to this door in three minutes, which is rough. Basically means you got to skip everything and be willing to not have any upgrades or anything. Now, if only I had a marking ability, that would make this really crazy. Right now, though, I am doing so much damage. I'm basically one-shotting everything, which I can't tell is good or bad. This is going to be an arena, so that giant red bar just signifies um, how many enemies we have to kill before it empties and we are allowed to move on. But... And again, this is one of those ones where it's really hard. I have to constantly move, kind of pay attention to where everything is. Um, and for those of you, if you're asking, I am playing on a keyboard and mouse. Um, if I didn't make that obvious by saying the words click while I was talking about how I attack with the shovel. All right, nice. That was a good friggin' clear. Let's go. Now, there are bosses at the end of each stage. We're about to hit our first boss here in a second. Ooh. Oh, there's a fire guy, and he burned me. That sucks. And there's that guy. Elephant gun. Nothing. Don't do anything else. Take that nine minutes. Over here. No data logs. Thumper, an iconic sniper. Ionic sniper, not iconic. All right. We're gonna be fighting. Ooh, not my, well, not one of my favorites, Billy Boom. But oh boy, oh boy, we gotta be super careful. This is why I do not care for Billy Boom um, because you have to make sure you see that yellow bar. Uh, oh wow, this is not turning out well. No. Billy. Billy is fucking whooping my ass right now. Yeah. We gotta hit that switch. Um, that switch basically makes it so Billy can't explode on us, because if you, if you fill up that yellow bar that you were seeing underneath his health bar, if you fill up that yellow bar, Billy explodes and you automatically lose the entire run. Nice. This is my first time getting an S rank clear on this. But like I said, we're we've kind of hit a really good melee build. This doesn't always happen, by the way. The the way this game jumbles items and weapons is pretty similar to like the Binding of Isaac. This is really just me getting lucky. <laughs> like I mean, extremely lucky. Um, well, at least one enemy is within 7.5 meters. It increases up to 12 percent. That's pretty good. For us, cold oil over slash requires one less combo to be triggered. Not bad. Phase shift, taking down an enemy within 7.5, or hitting a boss with dagger reduces blink cooldown by 0.5 seconds. I think I'm gonna take frontliner. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That one's actually really good. Increases uh, fire rate by 10%. This one right here. Increases all damage by 30% against enemies with less than 25% health remaining. Um, but I want to upgrade my shovel. Yeah, these are never that good. Like these are supposed to be good. They're they're epic um, items, so epic perks essentially. Um, but like they you know, they always have like extreme caveats, which kind of sucks when I think about it. Um, I'm gonna take the upgrade to my. Thing first, which means I can't pick up bow tie. That is okay because we do bonus damage to enemies with higher. The reason why I didn't mind taking all that damage was because I knew I had this guy and I'm going to be able to recover most of it. So every six seconds, your next weapon shot while crouched has a 100% auto critical chance. Ugh. Um, we'll just take the power cell and call it a day after that. Unfortunately, we're still one power cell short. Nothing I can do about that. I don't think there's anything up in these areas. Nope. Don't forget, I have a secondary jump too. Nope. 
He can only go so high. The game doesn't allow you to go that high. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I've already gotten it. Okay. Oh yeah, it was this chest right here. Totally forgot I had this. I had the jetpack. That's pretty cool. All right, ready? Let's go. God, another, another, just another banger soundtrack. They can't stop it. Oh, this guy's just stuck. Now, this level is much more difficult. This is where most of my runs end. Especially when I'm playing by myself. Um, a lot of the runs that I get really far in, where I've been able to unlock lots of cool stuff, is just like, again, me getting extremely lucky. Now, I might actually do more damage with my dagger at this point. I don't know. Um, but let's keep going. All that noise. Yeah, but see, like, they, they will shoot you. Like, they don't care. They will shoot you. They don't care if your back is turned or anything. Um, some of these enemies are... They just hit really freaking hard. Um... Melee is not always successful in this part. This particular part, you really want to keep your distance, because a lot of things can shoot you from far away. I take that back. Just about everything can shoot you from far away here. Like, oh god. Fun? Yeah, I keep getting hit by that stupid sniper. Um... And the sniper guy always freaking hits. Yeah, snipers. Uh, so if you see an enemy that's shooting a long orange line, um, that's probably a sniper enemy. And sniper enemies don't miss. Um, so you can dodge and weave as much as you freaking like. Chances are, crap, I activated this room, didn't mean to. This is probably going to cause my death. Because I didn't... Oh, because there was a boss. All right, well, <laughs> and it just hit the 30-minute mark. Shoot. That was a 12-minute run. I know a lot of it was me talking, but it was still fun. I had fun. Um, after this, so you can choose to restart, um, which just starts the uh, start the run with your current configuration and your current bot that you've selected, or you can go back to base camp and check. Um, I'll show the stats because we're this is kind of like how the video is going to end. Um, we got knocked out by the Goliath Destroyer. At least it was a mini-boss. Um, this is the gadgets we were running with. Sunglasses. Um, really should turn off sunglasses, because I died really quickly. Because <laughs> um, I lose 25% of my health. Uh, Jetpack. Yeah, the hero cape. Pressing, crou pressing crouch would let you do an air, air stomp. Um, gain one power cell while leveling up. Uh while riding and for six seconds after riding increased movement speed pogo stick patty bird so there's just like a whole bunch of stuff we got we had green saw we saw all the items that i had picked up during the run the perks i had gotten so these are the main perks like robo fuel and close combat and then these are like the the ones on the side of the perks that make them better and then of course we had standard perk which was just the uh, dagger upgrade flare shovel um so yeah that's where we're ending it here guys um Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more uh feel free to let me know um if i sound quiet or hushed i do apologize my son is behind me um eventually i'm hoping to get back to twitch even if it means i gotta do like really small streams in succession um, but i will figure that out and you know try to find a way to keep keep this community alive because i don't want it to die it's a it's a project that i picked up um a few years back and it's been a real way for me to have a good time, meet people online, and uh, just overall enjoy myself and, and share my gaming experiences with people. I, I don't particularly do this for money. Um, this is more like a little bit of a fun project, and it's also probably going to be a nice way I can um, maybe integrate my son when, when he's ready for gaming, and then me and him can game together on the channel. Um, but for now, I'm not terribly worried about it. I'm just, I'm glad to be doing something that maybe my community and those who are coming into my community 
um, will have some will have to enjoy until my streaming days come. Uh, you guys can find me on Twitch at tomorrow uh, at twitch.tv slash tomorrow's ramblings. Um, I'll also include the link down in the description. Um, please leave any comments as this is like one of my first videos from a while and I'm working with a whole new setup in comparison to my last time. Um, leave a comment down below kind of letting me know what I need to change, if the, if the game is too loud and my voice is too low or vice versa. Um, let me know. Sometimes the levels on OBS don't necessarily tell me how everything is working. Um, well, either way, I guess I gotta let you guys go. And I gotta go feed my son. Um, so yeah. Uh, I hope you all have a great day, night, no matter where you are. Be safe, stay healthy, stay away from your local crazies, or give them a hug. And I will catch you guys for the next video. Peace out.